welcome back so in the last uh, lecture we have learned how to make use of form calci to calculate the sum in the footer row of the table and as we know along with form calci we have one more scripting language option here that is javascript so in this lesson we learn how to make use of javascript and to use that what i will do before that i will do some modification in my interface okay so transition code is sfp for this adobe form interface and form so this is my interface so first i want to do some changes here in the code initialization here as my importing field is optional right so currently what i am doing if the kunnar is not initial i am selecting different data from here so i want to add some else part here okay so i am adding here some else part okay and what i will do in the else part here i will select up to 100 records okay here i am selecting up to 100 records so instead of for all entries this i will delete completely and i am selecting here up to 100 rows okay so if i am not passing the customer id system will select the top 100 rows from the vbap table fine now i will go back to my interface uh, form this is our form okay so first let's see if i enter here id 81 that is customer id 81 so here we can see the customer id and name okay so and now if i'm not passing this if i'm not passing this system will select the default first 100 record okay so now here system is displaying the 100 records from the table okay so now what i will do suppose see my requirement here is I want to use JavaScript. If the value of this field is null, then I want to hide this field. Okay, so we learn two concepts. One, check the value of same field and hide this, or check the value of some other field and hide other fields. Two things we will learn here. Okay, so go back to our form, form layout. In the form layout, we'll do this modification. Now here, what I will do, see on this design view, okay, on this page one, hmm, on this page one, I have this field customer, right? So here I want to write a logic. If the value of this field is null, that is Kunnar, if Kunnar is null, then hide this. So very simple, select first here the event. So I will select initialize. Okay, this will trigger every time whenever the form is getting display. Just like we did, uh, we use the initialize in our BAP report. Okay, so here I use initialize and language. Last time I used form calci. Now this time I'm using JavaScript. Okay, and here if you select any field, see here. Here we can see the complete part of the hierarchical tab for this field. Like first, this is data, right? So how this part is generated? First is data, then there is page one. Under that we have sub form. Here you can see the sub form. After that, the structure is GS and also KNA1, and the field is Kunnar. Okay, so this is the complete hierarchical path of this particular field. If I click on this field, so you will see the name one. If I click on any table row, we will see the hierarchical uh the details of that field okay so again i'm going to this field customer okay so this is the hierarchical part now what i want to do i just want to check the if the value is null hide this field simply write if this this means like <coughs> this field current field okay and raw value if the current field raw value Okay, and for equal to, here we have to type two times equal to sign. And if you want to check not equal to, here add the explanatory mark. Okay, this will behave as a not equal to. And to check equal to, simply write two times equal to sign. If this value equal to null. 
okay if this value equal to null what i want to do open and close the bracket and inside the bracket we have to write simply this dot see just type dot you will get some hint okay we will get the hint this dot presents equals to hidden okay inside this we will write hidden if you want to make it visible then type visible now what is the simple requirement if the value of this field so select this field and automatically we can write like this this dot raw value equal to null this dot presence equal to hidden very simple save close this and activate okay now execute first i will enter the id 81 as it is okay first i am entering that id 81 as it is to see the default behavior okay so here we can see the customer id now let me remove this i am not passing any id this time and see the magic of javascript see now we cannot see the customer field okay so very simple a simple two three lines of code we have to write okay to hide the field now for this field also we can do in the same way but what i will do we'll learn some other concept okay so instead of instead of like we can also do in the similar way for this field also but sometimes we might require to compare the value of other field and then hide this okay so we'll learn that using the other concept okay how to hide the name field so one concept you will learn in javascript how to hide a field by comparing the value if it is null hide the field now let's see the other other part okay so now here what i will do let me reset this see here my requirement is i want to hide this name field by comparing if this value is null okay so what i will do i will create a variable here hmm? i will again select initialize event javascript and client don't forget to select the client else you will get the error now what i will do first i will read the value of this customer variable into a local variable into a local field okay for that we can type simply where let's say kunnar equals to okay and then you type xfa that is xml form architecture dot resolve node okay here we can select a resolve node now i want to read the customer this value okay in the, this field so here we have to pass the node complete node what is the node like first it is data then dot like sub form name uh, page name under page name we have this sub form okay and there after this sub form under this uh, we have this work area and then name one okay so complete node we have to pass here okay and simple way for that simple way for that i want to read this node right i will simply click here and i will copy from here till the corner fine right click copy this is the node id complete node for this customer field fine because here i have not done proper naming assignment like sub form name and all so in that case simply select that field which node we want to assign and we can simp simply copy the value from here okay so i copy the value again i will go back here here in this customer id i want to read that node id right and in between i will write this kunnar fine and now bracket close okay this bracket is close xfa dot resolve node we are reading this node hmm? dot what we want to read we want to read the raw value okay here you can see raw value and close the syntax 
point now in this field question kunnar will get this is the local variable we are declaring we are reading this value okay and again now no, normal coding up normal coding like we have done in the previous step so if this variable kunnar equals to null <coughs> okay and in between we will write this dot presence equals to hidden fine see what we did here in the first step we are checking the same field value okay and we are not displaying that field but here i am reading the value of this customer field through the xfa node through that x complete node data and all this okay i'm getting the value of that field in this local variable i'm comparing this and then i'm hiding that value okay save close and activate now we'll execute this again first i will check with the by passing the customer id see this time both the value we can see customer and name one now i will remove this 81 and let's see the output see initially only customer was hidden now we cannot see the name field as well fine so in this way we can you make use of javascript to hide the field either by comparing the same field value or by comparing the value of other field now one more option for the same requirement one more option very simple option this is also working but let's see one more option view zoom let me reduce this 65 okay page now what i will do i'm going to data viewer Okay, in data view, suppose we want to, in uh, form Kelsey, we will learn like record dot field name. Okay, so this time what I will do, instead of this node, instead of reading this node, I will directly read the value of this field. Okay, this is Kunnar field, right? Dot Kunnar, this is Kunnar field. So this time what I will do, I will, instead of reading through this XFN node, I will directly read the value with dollar record that is also possible so let me comment this okay i will copy this as it is okay just type here again same value could not equal to xfa xml form architecture and resolve node okay then in the bracket now this time what we'll do simply type dollar record dot the field name what is the field name here kunnar i don't know whether i have to pass gs underscore kna one kunnar what we'll see hmm? we'll see that if i click here okay let me check if i click here okay let's first uh let me type as it is kunnar here okay we'll check later if it is not working, I will change to GS and also KN1 Kunnar. Any anyway, with first option, it is already working. Okay, I think we have to pass GSA, KN1 Kunnar only. So, what I am doing, I am reading this value. GSA, KN1 dot Kunnar. Okay, and after this dot value, this time, we are not writing <coughs> raw value. Okay, I am type, type, typing value. Fine. If it is not working, I will just remove this GS underscore KNA1. So now what I am doing, instead of this reading the node, which is in the hierarchical tab, I am directly reading through this dollar record concept. So in this Kunnar field, I will get value of this. Then I am comparing and I am hiding this field. So my cursor position is here in name one. So this dot presence means this will impact this current position. Okay. And here it is initialize seven close.
एक्टिवेट एक्सिक्यूट आई एम नॉट पासिंग एनी वैल्यू ऑन द इनिशियल स्क्रीन फाइन सी दिस इज ऑल्सो वर्किंग ओके सो टू कॉन्सेप्ट यू लर्न सी इन दिस केस ऑल्सो वी कैन नॉट सी दैट फील्ड ओके सो टू मेथड वी यू लर्न टोटल थ्री मेथड थ्री कॉन्सेप्ट यू लर्न फर्स्ट हाइड अ फील्ड बाय कंपेरिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ सेम फील्ड सेकेंड हाइड अ फील्ड बाय कंपेरिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ अदर फील्ड एंड डैट वी डन विथ टू कॉन्सेप्ट okay that we have done with the two concept one is using this reason node uh, that complete node that is data page one sub form and all and second we will learn directly with the dollar dot record okay with this also we can read the value of that field fine so in this way we are done with the session on how to make use of java script that is scripting language in the adobe form to hide a field thank you